ओम शांति नाइनटीन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन मंडे देंस फ्रॉम टूडे साकार मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन योर ओरिजिनल संस्कार इज प्यूरिटी यू बिकम इम्प्योर बाय गोइंग इन टू द कंपनी ऑफ रावन यू नाउ हैव टू बिकम प्योर एंड बिकम द मास्टर्स ऑफ द प्योर वर्ल्ड स्वीट चिल्ड्रन योर ओरिजिनल संस्कार is purity you have become impure by going into the company of ravan you now have to become pure and become the masters of the pure world so our original sanskar niji sanskar eternal sanskar pristine sanskar is complete purity and souls have become impure by coming into the contact of vices and now it's a time to reemerge those sanskars of purity so what should we do so that the original sanskars of purity come back what should we do so that we reemerge the sanskars of purity in today's sakar murli baba said the cause of peacelessness is impurity the moment you become pure you become peaceful and baba loves those children who are peaceful who don't have criminal eyes who have civilized so this is the original sanskar purity is the original religion purity is the very nature purity is the very sanskar purity is the very swabhav of the soul so how to emerge this sanskar of purity or how to increase purity or how to go back to purity so multiple things baba has told at different point of time in order to emerge the sanskar of purity one must understand the importance of purity first of all unless and until the importance is understood we cannot work on anything so one must understand the gravity the importance of purity and different methods are there different ways are there by which we can fortify strengthen our purity and what are those ways as we have heard multiple times soul consciousness it's a body consciousness that has made us impure so the practice of soul consciousness will make us more and more pure the soul consciousness is not just in the morning or in the evening throughout the day at multiple times times practicing soul consciousness and soul conscious vision if i am the soul everyone whom i see is also a soul so when there is this vision of soul consciousness automatically purity will increase because the very nature of the soul is pure 
you don't have to buy purity you don't have to borrow purity you don't have to take purity on loan it's there inherent in it the very nature is purity so atma is the soul is filled with purity already only thing is that there is a dust of body consciousness once the stain this dust this murk of body consciousness is removed the soul is already there shining in all its luminosity so the first thing is soul consciousness the second is supreme soul consciousness that is remembrance of papa that's remembrance of god the more the remembrance the more would be the purity as we saw yesterday day before yesterday remembrance leads to purity so remembrance of god remembrance of the ocean of purity leads to purity so soul conscious supreme soul consciousness the third is spiritual drills drills of five forms so when you are situated in the original swarup original form or eternal form anadi adi or your form of corporate as a worshiper the soul or your form of confluence age as an elevated brahmin or your future form of an angel so or any one of these forms they all are very pure they all are very pure forms and there is not a trace of body consciousness in the higher stages of these four five forms so spiritual drills and practicing spiritual drills throughout the day at interval intermittently throughout the day whenever we get time whenever we are free and at leisure that time practicing spiritual drills will lead to heightened purity so the sanskars of the purity would increase more and more we would be attracted towards purity the more the rust of body consciousness the less is the attraction of purity the less is the attraction of god the less is the attraction of the supreme abode and soul says that we don't find yoga interesting because there is so much rust the more the rust the more the lesser would be the attraction towards god the more the purity the more would be the attraction towards god so for purity you need soul consciousness supreme soul consciousness and spiritual drills then reading what you read in order to increase purity increase your reading about purity increase your study about purity keep on reading about purity and do not read those literature that would snatch away your purity so reading includes two things what not to read and what to read the worldly literature the worldly maxims the worldly novels they are filled with all the sensual literature that will make the soul fall down so reading spiritual literature every day how much you should read how much you should read at least 50 pages at least 50 new pages that could be anything throughout the day we should be reading something or other whenever you get time rather than wasting time in frivolous talks rather than wasting time in pointless banter in the worldly prattle it's better that we devote our time in reading and books are our never failing friends other friends may deceive you may leave you in the lurch but friends like books they never leave you they always stay with you so make friendships with spiritual literature 
any friendship with godly literature so at least 50 new pages 50 or 25 if not 50 <laughs> then listening what i listen what i hear so listen classes of purity listen to the words of purity listen all that is pure in the world and refrain from listening to all that is vulgar all that is worthless all that is useless increase listening more and more listening to the godly voices godly melodies godly music godly songs what songs we listen they also make an impact So whatever songs you listen they should be pure songs that should enter within the words would create pictures in the mind if they are worldly they would create worldly pictures and pictureization creates feelings bhavana and that is worldly the same feelings would be created so listening should be pure increase listening after that seeing what we see make it a aim to look at the pure things in today's digital world more and more addiction has been created because of watching so what we are watching what we see that should be pure see those pictures of the golden age see your souls and seeing has very direct effect on the mind what we see we think about it what we see automatically leads to churning so seeing vision then holy company satsang associated with pure minded souls associated with souls who are striving to be pure try to be in contact with those souls who are intense effort makers whose aim is purity those who love purity so satsang the company of the truth when there is a satsang automatically the spirit would elevate when there would be the company of pure souls everywhere you would automatically feel those vibrations and the soul will start soaring up up and up and up to so satsang next for purity you need vairagya you need disinterest in the world the more the interest in the world the more the desires of the world the more the worldly ambitions the lesser would be the purity because desires make person restless because desires induce craving and satisfaction of every desire leads to intense craving it doesn't calm the mind 
it leads to further craving further yearning further longing and there is a restlessness there is a uneasiness every heart is at unease even after the fulfillment of any worldly desire so there should be the feeling of airagya on saturday baba said in blessing emerge this vritti of disinterest dispassion awaken this vritti of dispassion so unless and until there is a burning blazing vairagya there cannot be purity so the more the disinterest the more would be the purity for purity what is needed is intense vairagya then affirmations affirmation means self talk affirmations means auto suggestions in the training of the subconscious mind affirmations have got lot of importance you keep on telling yourself that i am supremely pure soul i am supremely pure soul i am supremely pure soul i have to purify the world i am the child of the sup- ocean of purity i am the master ocean of purity my purity sustains the world my purity is the nourishment for the five elements my purity is the support of the world in yesterday's murli baba said you are the foundation you are the special souls you are the souls who are essential you are the souls who have taken all the powers from the supreme soul through you is the foundation of the is the expansion of the world if he is the chaitanya seed he is the living seed you are the foundation of this tree you are responsible for everything that is happening in the world if there is a disturbance in the foundation there would be disturbance in the world if there is a waste in the foundation there would be the waste in the world if the waste if the foundation entertains impure thoughts the wave of impurity will spread across the world the leaves would become dry if the foundation is dry if the foundation is shrinking the world would shrink so affirmations self talks then visualization for purity you need a very strong weapon of visualization visualize that you are the supremely pure souls you can visualize anything that i am an angel who is an angel of purity so i am the angel of purity so visualization is very important tool in order to become pure and then yeah food the purer the food the purer the mind would become so for purity you need pure food and food is divided into three types sattvic and rajasic and tamasic all food that is stale all food is food that is non veg is tamasic and what about rajasic all food which is sour which is chilly which is spicy which is oily that comes in the category of rajasic and rajasic food leads to agitation in the mind for pure soul we need sattvic food sattvic diet don't think that just because you make your own food it becomes sattvic sattvic food should be as less spicy as possible if possible saltless if possible oilless if possible as simple as possible is possible as natural as possible so pure food leads to pure mind so to reemerge the sanskar of purity you need your food then next place 
if you want to emerge the sanskars of purity go to pure places going to impure places would emerge the sanskars of impurity going to pure places will lead to emergence of pure sanskars so place is very important so these are about 12 points you can add few more like love of god the more the love of god the more would be the purity and at last remove all the triggers of impurity we have so many triggers and the greatest trigger is mobile all that are triggers of impurity pictures posters videos statues advertisements so movies and everything everything that triggers impurity throw it off all the triggers of impurity should be removed in today's sakar murli baba said make the pledge of purity there are many who make the pledge of purity and then they go from here and everything is finished and then they do atrocities on women and baba said women are nirbal they are very weak they sit at home and they prepare food and to begot begot children and take care of the family but men are strong they go for war but then this is what baba said about the pratigya of purity so for emerging reemerging of sanskars of purity so many things are needed checking checking you keep on checking yourself to what extent i have become pure and what are the causes of impurity and from where the impurity is coming what is the source of impurity as i said remove all the triggers all the stimuli all the philips of impurity even if a single door is open the dust would enter inside even if a single crack is there somewhere a small crack the dust will enter so become supremely pure so today's essence is sweet children your original sanskar niji sanskar is purity you become impure by coming into the company of ravan baba said in today's murli there are some sanyasis they say one children one child is must be there baba said they are thugs those who say like that at least one child should be there thug is a english word also that has a common to english so you become impure by going into the company of ravan you now have to become pure and become the masters of the pure world so baba has come to make us the masters of the pure world in today's sakar murli baba said you have not come here to become sanyasi you have come here to become the masters of the world so what are the methods for achieving purity first soul consciousness then supreme soul consciousness that is yaad kiya remembrance then spiritual drills then reading listening seeing satsang so which company you are in what you see what you listen what you read that should be pure then vairagya without burning vairagya there cannot be any purity then visualization affirmations food place love of god and last triggers remove all the triggers of impurity intense checking is needed why from where the trigger is coming so remove all the triggers of impurity so so many things are needed in order to become pure or in order to because the sanskars of purity are already there they are just covered there is a gold and it is covered by mud remove the mud remove the dust remove the soil gold is already there so soul is already pure soul is already golden 
it has become impure adulterated contaminated dirty just remove the dirt and the soul will shine on its own so sweet children you have to become pure and go into the comp- go into the pure world become the masters of the pure world om shanti